It ain't moving. Oh, look your rod, your rod. Dude, what was that? <laughs> South Louisiana, baby, that's what we out here for. Yo, Bill Jr., Pure Cajun Outdoors, folks. We did a little fishing yesterday for some panfish. Goggle eye, crappie. We call them soccer of course. Red breasted bluegill. Uh, water's falling in the river. <clears throat> so the basin is kind of doing real well right now. So we went out and we targeted these fish. I don't explain a whole lot of it in the videos all the time when I'm going, so I got to come back and redo them now. So at this time of the year, those, those bluegills and a lot of those panfish, they'll spawn every full moon right now for the next few months. This wasn't a full moon, but just to let you know that they will do it. A day or two after a full moon is typically best. When the water's falling, that'll trigger them to start biting and feeding as well. So we located a lot of shallower water that hardly has any current coming across. That's typically where they'll make their beds. So you want to target those areas that has maybe some vegetation uh, close to some trees, some brush piles, some lilies, things like that. Wasn't really holding real tight to any structure. Same thing with the crappie yesterday. Not holding tight to any structure. Uh, just kind of had to search for them. The bluegill was kind of piled up, you know, the red-breasted brim. They was kind of piled up when we was able to find them. You can use worms. You can use crickets. Those things work well this time of the year as well. I typically go out there with hair jigs. It's usually what I use, and I'll tip it with a crappy nibble. You know, you kind of just pop it underneath the cork, set your depth accordingly, depending on where you're fishing at. And that's kind of how we caught them. Now, you will see in this video, my dad, he was able to catch quite a few of them on using a small number one spinner. And he was using various different kinds of jigs. Black and chartreuse tube jigs, some silver and white, some blue and white. Different ones he would put on that little small number one spinner. Well, like a beetle spin. I pretty much used uh, a jig the whole time. A 1 16th ounce jig. It was all black, but it was a feather jig. Had two silver streamers, but... Uh, you can use black on black hair jigs. I fish in a lot of murky water, so darker colors do real well for us. But black and chartreuse, blue and white, uh, different things like that, they all kind of panned out. But the black on black jig did the best with the orange 1 16th head. So that's kind of what you want to target, locate them areas. Usually where you find one, there will be more in that area. So keep that in mind also. Just keep it moving, popping your car, throwing your beetle spin, whichever one it is. Or fishing with worms and crickets. It's, it's going to work the same way. It's fun fishing. This time of the year is real good for kids if you want to get them interested into it because it's kind of fast paced and they, they're going to be able to catch some fish. Comment down below if y'all catching fish right now where you're from as far as paying fish go. I know catfish and everything is different everywhere, but if y'all doing real good, also comment down below what's some of y'all favorite ways to cook pan fish. Some people like to just, you know, scale them, fry them whole. Some people fillet them deep fry them, you know, there's, there's a ton of different ways you can do it. Comment down below, what's your favorite way? Nonetheless, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and drop a comment below. If you like this type of content and you wanna see more, be sure to give us a subscribe, follow us, turn your notification bell on if you wanna know every time we post content, which should be real often now that the fishing is getting a lot better. Pure Cajun Outdoors on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, we are now on TikTok, post and comment over 10,000 followers, over 2 million views. We are uh, trying that out. So y'all head over there also if you want to check it out. We do a lot of live videos on that channel on uh, TikTok. So y'all be sure to check that out as well if you're ever interested. And uh, for the most part, man, purecajunoutdoors at gmail.com. If you have any questions, if you want to reach out to us, contact us about anything. So until next time, Pure Cajun Outdoors, catch y'all on the next one. Show it to the camera. So we're out here, people catching some big bluegills, some big yellow breast brim, I mean red breast brim, red and orange breast brim, something like that, whatever you want to call them. 
Right now he's throwing a beetle spin. What color jig is that you got on now? You got a uh, black on chartreuse. Black and chartreuse tube jig. With a number one spinner. With a little small beetle Keep spin. Real simple. Full for full. <laughs> oh yeah, you done found him over there, bro. Show it to the camera. Yeah, people. Right there, hiding all that time, huh? That water above him. Oh, you got, I got, got excited. Nice one right there. Some of the little shoulders right here, people. Oh, yeah. Look at here. Look at this fat boy. Nice big red breast, bro. Hold that suck up to the camera. Here, people. There we go. That's what we're looking for. A couple of these. I have to go uh, throw anchor out there. Jig and I think that's what it is. They're running the fucking lilies over there. Huh? I think I messed up. Nope. Missed him. Oh, look at this. Yes, sir. Found a bed of them now. Here, now, all he's doing is throwing that beetle spin out there along the edge of them lilies. You can't really see them from where you're at. Let me see if I can get this screen right here to turn on. Right over here in this little gap right here, there's a little cove. He's just chunking it up in there and he's dragging it real slow across the bottom. And them big bluegill are hammering it. As you can see, that's back to back. Every cast, just about. Oh, and he just lost it. Oh well, the nature wins this time. Alright, try this again, I'll be back. Ah, I knew it. It ain't moving. Oh, look, you ride, you ride. Dude, what was that? <laughs> it must have been a big old soccer or something, dude. No, I thought that thing almost took you ride in the water. There you go. Show them to the camera. To the old camera row. Freaking hung up. What you got on that beetle? Yeah. What you do? Stop reading? Yeah, I hit. I tried to hit the record button. There you go, people. We have Big old red-eared sunfish right there. We call them chicken pan.
What you got? Oh, what you got? Another big red belly brim. Yeah, people. What we want? You know what I'm using right here, folks, is a little feather jig. I should be able to see that, I'm hoping. With an orange head, it's all black with some silver streamers. With an orange head, and I'm tipping it with some little crappy nibbles. Floating at about two foot under a cork. Kind of just popping it every now and then. And what I do is I let it sit there. Every now and then I kind of just pop it. Still want to leave it in place when you pop it, you know? And then sometimes I'll pull it slow and then let it set back down. There we go. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, looks like he got some meat on him. He got some little shoulders on him. That's what we after, folks. I knew it was, I was going to find him eventually. Let's see what we got. Y'all see this right here? I hope it's down enough. Just about the size of your hand. And I got some fairly decent sized hands. Barely get it around there. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Ooh, look at here. What you got going on for yourself? Ooh, look at that beautiful one. Yeah, Pretty orange, huh? Oh. It was right there. I had to play with it for a little while. There y'all go. Y'all see him? Back y'all up some. There y'all go. See, and that one right there didn't nail it neither. I had to, I had to feather it a little bit. Yeah, I had to feather that one and kind of just aggravate him a little bit until eventually he hit it. But they definitely not in a hurry right now. So a little bit slower bite, softer bite, as some would say. There we go. Oh, this one's pretty nice too, dude. Pretty fish, dude. Pretty fish. Nice fish. Come on now. There we go. Now let's see this one, another nice one. Oh man, he went in one side of his chest and not the other. All right, folks, huh? that's just a little bit of what's on top. That ain't even everything that's on the bottom yet. We loading up on some big bluegills, some big red breasted brim. I knew it. I just needed to be able to get back there. I mean, it ain't big, but oh, I like this one. This right here is an awesome pitcher fish. I like this little thing. That green sunfish. Oh, look at that big old thing they caught, boy. What's that? Right there, boy, big old chicken pen where we just were. I mean, you caught it at the tree we was tied on. Big red breast ball. Huh? Look at this. Camera's on. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> That's a nice. Oh,
What's happening, YouTube? Bill Jr. Bill Senior. Good morning, YouTube. So, uh, yesterday we wanted to take us a little fishing trip, right? Been a while. We got purse jerking, crappie, bluegill, whatever. What we come up on yesterday, dude? Man, we come up on a few of these bluegills. They just wanted to come home with us, so we uh, give them a ride in. A bunch of big uh, red and orange breast brim. That's that's what we was after, stuff like that. And, man, we found them. Y'all take a look at All right, As y'all can see, we got some... Crop it, what we call soccer litter, yeah? and we got us a table of some big old, big old brim. That's what I'm talking about right there. It don't get no better than that, folks. What kind of method you was using to catch these fish? Well, we were using a uh, custom-made jig. Got a black feather tail on it with feathers on it and an uh, orange head. Uh, they like the crappy nibbles for some reason or another. It just brings them in. And we also got on, in on a few of them with some beetle spins. That worked out for it. They just pretty much try what you could find. They were finicky. and uh, But we did find a couple of things that worked for us. And we was able to bring a few home. That's right. We go clean them up. And uh, a little word of advice also. You ready to go fish these things? Go to your local bait shop. Chances are good. They got a particular bait that they're selling more of than any other. They're not going to tell you that's the number one bait. But if they're selling a lot, 100% more of one bait than the other, chances are good. That's what everybody's using. So maybe you want to try to get that little secret out there. You know, they'll share it with you. So good luck. Y'all stay tuned. Fishing is starting to get pretty good. We uh, should be having some more fishing videos coming soon. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Pure Cajun Outdoors. Alright, we'll talk to y'all later.